morning one you know bay how are you it's howling this morning it's glorious sometimes i love weather like this um i'm a bit sweaty i teach spinning at half six on a wednesday morning so i'm back from that and it's odd because eight nine months ago i'd have been doing it not even a hangover because i never really used to get hangovers but i'd have done it feeling a bit average because i've had at least a bottle of wine the night before and especially at this time of year and it gets darker bake-offs on so i'd be down at least a bottle bottle and a half on a tuesday night same again on wednesday sat watching the apprentice with my wine and my fake happiness so it's just madness how you change and um so it's lovely to get up with a clear head but i'm just wondering if you accidentally inspire people without you realizing it because of your alcohol free uh stuff that you're doing because i find the best way is just not to push it on people just and they start asking questions. Um, I've had a, there's a really big win, I find, the person that, that, that's been most important to me is when I went, is my mum. My mum drinks quite a bit. Sure, she, she was, she used to love it when I drank. I'd go around on a Sunday and she'd get the wine out. And she struggled a lot when I stopped drinking. You know, she kept asking me, like when it was Mother's Day, surely you're drinking because it's Mother's Day. Oh, you're going to be drinking at Christmas. Oh, you're going to, you know, I want to go around on a Sunday. Oh, do you just want one wine? No, mum, I'm not. I'm doing a year's challenge, so but she's got used to it now. But you know, I've just been on holiday with her. We had gin and tonic gate where I was given a gin by mistake. Well, I don't know if I told you a couple of incidents where my mum had gone to bed early and mum came back to the room about one in the morning to tell she'd had a few. You don't get me wrong, she's not a raving, blooming, you know, drunk old lady or anything. It's just like I used to be. And she'd start and start getting really argumentative and we she had a couple, she said a couple of really horrible things because I wasn't retaliating and I didn't take it personally actually. She just got really arsy and argumentative as she was getting into bed and um, one night she called me a supercilious little bitch. <laughs> you know, and normally I'd be hurt but do you know what, it was such a wake up call. I just looked at her and I thought, fuck me, that's, that's me, that's what I was like. Thank God I'm not drinking, you know, because I was like that with Sam. I remember I used to get argumentative where you think, sod it, you know, I'm right, I'm good, I'm this. And that's all she was doing. So I didn't take it personally, but it is really, really upset because I told her the next morning, she knew we'd had something, but I didn't shout at her once, just went to sleep. And I think the fact that I didn't retaliate pissed her off even more. Whereas if I'd have been drinking, we'd have had a massive row and it's really upset her and so she's bought seed lip and alcohol free wine now she's not doing what i've done and doing an alcohol free challenge but she says she's going to start drinking seed lip at night when she has she has one gin a night two glasses of wine like then a whiskey later you know they're just setting the ways aren't they so she's going to do it intermittently so that's a massive result it really is so i'm absolutely delighted but i know even at spinning this morning people say you're still off it sally and the people who were thinking I was shit for doing it are really starting to be, bloody hell, you're doing well. <coughs> and it's nice, you know. So do you find that? Do you find that you inspire people accidentally, whether you've done three days, three weeks, three months, or three years? So just keep doing it. And I, I'm just loving it. And I don't recognise myself. We're going to London. <coughs> oh, I don't know. We're going to London coming to London again, the Northern Nobed comes to London on Friday, Simon's 50th, can't believe we will not be drinking and happy not to do so, we're going to the Ivy for lunch, Lay Miz at night, I might do a little video series of it <coughs> and then meeting people on Sunday, so yeah, off to London and all alcohol free and I'm quite delighted. So it's, you don't tire of it. So if you're in the beginning, just keep going because it gets better, it gets better, it gets better. Promise, listen to all the people ahead. So just and be mindful that whether you feel like it or not, so I've got a tickle, <coughs> you will be inspiring people. You will, I promise. Cheerio, bye.